Hello, today we're gonna see how uh, we can connect uh, with the custom API from Power Apps. So, for that, uh, you can create an app first, just a blank app. And while this one is loading, uh, for data to be to come in the app, we need to create a custom connector that uh, connects to the API uh, for this uh, uh, app. So we create a custom connector from blank. So we, you can collect uh, uh, create from a bank or from a Postman connection or from an open API file, but let's try from blank so connector so just give a name to your connector and just fill up the description of the colors and whatever you so you can provide a good better description than that <coughs> I'm gonna uh, make rec uh, regress uh, dot in as a website uh, which I'm gonna hit for the APIs. So this is it, and next is so it gives an uh, option to provide the authentication. It can be a ba basic authentication, or you can put API keys, or you can use OAuth. So for this one, I'll put no authentication. So then, uh, let's go to the website. So uh, f th this is the website I'm using to get a uh, dummy uh, data. So uh, let's say I want to list uh, users uh, for that. This is the API. So take this. And I need to put the description just write things that make sense and that can help you to uh, use this later on so okay can do this and then um, uh, I just clicked on import from sample get this is the URL and you can put something like this uh, where page becomes a parameter though even if you put it like this it will uh, it can tell that this is a parameter when you import so as you can see it, it, it auto detect that this is the parameter that needs to pass for the pages uh, create connection okay Oop. so let's go back and one two three four so just fix the color yep mm. so let's check out the app here I'll, I'll make a gallery okay uh, I guess this is still taking a little bit of time okay so get users API is done uh, it has also validated the next thing is if I want to get a particular user I'll just get the user or get And since two is the parameter, and get so 
parameter it detected that two is the parameter similarly you can create other actions for uh, posts as well <coughs> so this is a post to create uh, create user This is the request, and this is the response. Okay, sorry. <coughs> mm -hmm. This is done. Response. So now that it's all set, you create a new connection. So you, you can see it's been connected, uh, created here. Now that the connection is created, uh, it can be uh, you can find it in the list of data sources and in connectors. This is the connector that we have created. Uh, take one and once it uh, shows up here you can put the name of the connector and then since uh, this uh, is the particular one we want to get to fetch user we we'll click on this one we have to paste, uh, pass the parameter of uh, the page number of the API that we want to fetch so we want to fetch uh, this as with the app you can keep it dynamic uh, so that you can put an application around it and if you see the api of list users uh, all the users are inside uh, data so you cannot directly get uh, records by just putting this you have to put the data as well and now that's all can start adding okay so we don't want avatar we can just put first name and email so th this is how we can connect the API uh, from the power apps using the connectors thank you